Watch 20-year Cassini mission end as NASA probe plunges into Saturn NASA's Cassini spacecraft ended its 13-year tour of Saturn when it plunged into the atmosphere of the ringed planet on Friday. According to the Federal Space Agency, it lost contact with Cassini at 755 MEDT, with the final signal from the spacecraft received by NASA's Deep Space Network Antenna Complex in Canberra, Australia. This is the final chapter of an amazing mission, but it's also a new beginning, Thomas Serbukan, Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate, said in a statement. Cassini's discovery of ocean worlds at Titan and Enceladus changed everything, shaking our views to the core about surprising places to search for potential life beyond Earth. Artists, Conception of Cassini Saturn Orbit Insertion NASA launched in 1997, Cassini arrived at Saturn in 2004. NASA extended the spacecraft's mission twice, first for two years and then for seven more years. According to scientists, the final set of observations made by Cassini during the last few days of its tour of Saturn are expected to offer new insights about the plant's formation and evolution, as well as the processes occurring in its atmosphere. Let's have a look at Cassini's last images, which include a view of the site of the spacecraft's atmospheric entry. Impact Site The final image NASA Caltech Space Science Institute This is the last image taken by Cassini's imaging cameras on September 14 at 1959 UTC spacecraft event time. The image which was taken using Cassini's wide-angle camera at a distance of 634,000 km from Saturn shows the planet's night side lit by reflected light from the rings and the location at which the spacecraft later entered Saturn's atmosphere. Sinking Enceladus Nasager Caltech Space Science Institute taken on September 13, this image shows Saturn's active, ocean-bearing moon Enceladus setting behind the ring plant. Cassini captured the image using its narrow-angle camera at a distance of 1.3 million kilometers from Enceladus, and about 1 million kilometer from Saturn. The final glance at Titan Nasager Caltech Space Science Institute This image of Saturn's giant moon Titan was taken using Cassini's narrow-angle camera on September 13. The spacecraft was at a distance of 774,000 kilometers from Titan when it captured the image. The rings, one last time NASA Caltech Space Science Institute taken from a distance of 1.1 million kilometers from Saturn, this the final view of Saturn's famous rings captured by Cassini on September 13. The Northern Saturn NASA Caltech Space Science Institute This image of Saturn's northern hemisphere was also captured on September 13. Cassini was 1.1 million kilometers away from the planet when it took this photograph. Tiny Daphne's final appearance NASA Caltech Space Science Institute taken on September 13, this image of Saturn's outer A ring features the small moon Daphne's. Also visible are the waves the tiny natural satellite raises in the edges of the Keeler Gap. The image was captured when using Cassini's wide-angle camera at a distance of 782,000 km from Saturn. Lone Propeller NASA Caltech Space Science Institute This is a view of Saturn's A-ring, showing a lone propeller trying, unsuccessfully, to open a gap in the ring material. Propellers are disturbances caused by small moonlets embedded in Saturn's rings. Cassini captured this image on September 13, at a distance of 676,000 km from the planet. Although Cassini has ended its journey, the enormous collection of data that it had collected about Saturn and its moons is expected to continue to help astronomers yield new discoveries in the future. Cassini may be gone, but its scientific bounty will keep us occupied for many years, Linda Spilka, Cassini project scientist at NASA, said in the statement. We've only scratched the surface of what we can learn from the mountain of data it has sent back over its lifetime.